running the stink and doing the thing. Frosty this morning, minus two degrees Celsius. So she is a bit fresh. But I don't mind fresh. Fresh is good. Get that old uh, fresh air in your lungs. <laughs> Breathe it in. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good good view of this um, sunrise or not. Oh, this is a better view. Ready? Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. That is why I love early mornings. Look how like orange and pink it is. The camera really does not do it any justice whatsoever. But right, I'm gonna get to my job and I'll see you when I get there. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. I'd like to be 500 subscribers by Christmas. So please, please, please help me get there. Thank you. See you in a right, second. Back with me again, my YouTube friends. How are we all doing? Um, just a quick one. So I start the digger up, get everything warmed up. Before I ring Volvo and get them to come and have a look, would any of you out there have any reason why my bottom window wiper has stopped working? I've gone out there, I've given it a little pull, a little, little doobly doobly dabbly woo and no, still nothing. But no, it's just suddenly stopped working. No reason for it to stop working, it just has. So if any of you out there have an idea of why it's um, done it, hit me up in the comments. It's baffled me, I've checked the fuses, they're fine. But yeah, just another problem. But right, she's a bit uh, frosty this morning. I've got to here and that's minus three. So yeah, she is a bit cold. So letting the digger warm up. And uh, we're getting there. Started scraping that off yesterday evening. Um, the banks are all done, they're all dressed up. That is being scraped off. There's a bank going in behind me now, just a little one, just to block it off a bit. The tram should be here today. So then the stone and material which is there will come into here. That bit of clay there, that's on the bank. I've still got to take that out, but I can't take that out until the stone is off the top. Um, so yeah, that's what we're on today. We'll scrape this up. Then I'm going to go over to the portal cabin and start doing in between there while they start transferring some of the stone across here with the old map road. Yeah. To start hauling some of this stone across for me. There you go. But right, we'll let her warm up and um, get started on scraping some more of this out, building a bank up behind me. Do well. Right, we're going to try a slightly different camera angle and see how that works out. See if that's any better. Oh, nearly forgot. It's that time of day where you got to have a nice fresh one. <laughs> Lovely. Ooh. Num, num, num. Oh, Jesus, is that cold. Ooh. Right, digger's nearly warmed up now, so we'll uh, start scraping off. Alright, we'll start doing some scraping then. Just get the oil warmed up. There you can tell she's a little bit slow because she's cold this morning. This is the morning procedure whenever you run these GC hitches. They say to you to dead end the hydraulics each way just to. Um, circulate it and get any oil or air out of the system if there is any. There never is, it's just got some play in it. Which we're still waiting to hear back off them. They should be sending their fitter out to have a look. Again. Don't get me wrong, I love the hitch, but just that play, it's doing my head in. It's not a hydraulic, it is actual like wear play or something. So they said they're going to send their fit around to have a look. 
what I do is just work the arm a couple of times, nice and steady, just uh, try to get the oil moving. As it's, it's fairly cold out there. actually isn't in that far so it ain't too bad. All we're doing here is literally taking I don't know four to six inches of this off so we put the stone on level and it is literally going behind me into another bank. That's all we're gonna do with it. scraped out and I shall come back to you when I get over to the containers and I'll explain to you over there what we're going to do there in the easiest way. So I can't really do, once it's scraped out I can't really do much more here until he's got the tram and moved the stone over. Once it's done that then we can start leveling the stone out. But until then we can't, but we can't do nothing. Right, I shall see you all in a bit. Right, we'll take this tree out then. Well, bush, tree, whatever you want to call it. Call it a pine. Right in the way. I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff because I've got nowhere to bury it now. So, I can just take it out and go from there.
much this time as can, and I'll get back to you shortly. Alright, that is that bit done. I'm now going to grab this, take Graham to the other side of the container, and uh, yeah, start scraping the yard up, get rid of all this dirt and horrible stuff.
what I'm doing here is I'm just trimming it up. So I'm just trimming down to get everything at the same level. Uh, otherwise, you will, if you have it all at different levels, you will struggle with water all the time. Um, you've got to have high bits and low bits, but in the right places. Like that high there is in the wrong place. Water power's coming this way, so the water heating's there, it's got nowhere to go. Hence why it sits so wet there. So it's got, you've got to scrape. You've got to get the yard to the angle it should be. That makes sense to people. You can't just go and chuck material in and oh that'd be alright. Gotta get rid of that water. The minute water starts laying on the top, you've got a problem. Come back to you when we all scrape. old stuff on top. This stuff is wet, yes I get that, but it will dry out and it makes it a good start for a base. Um, I'll get most of it roughly in, roughly sort of knocked about, leveled in and what have you, tracked in. And then what I shall do afterwards is I shall track it in, because we haven't got a roller or nothing here. So I'll track it all in, I'm then going to go get the laser and that out. Once the, once the laser is out, I will then check the height of this red container against the height of the blue container. So, because what it's planning on here is it's got that 40 foot, that 40 foot container, right? So it's got two 40 foot containers. What he's then wanting to do is he's got them about 40 foot apart and then he's going to get a spanned roof to go over the top 
and then have a bank or another container at the back and then have the centre concreted is then got a workshop technically don't need building regs because it's just a concrete pad going in with three containers don't need building regs for that and there's just got a roof over the top perfect nice big 40 by 40 foot workshop very clever very simple I'll just get rid of that little bit of water off the windscreen with my one window wiper because the bottom one don't work for some reason I don't know why that suddenly stopped working bloody irritating it's pretty bad I rarely look out of bottom window unless I'm digging deep or doing some ditching but I guarantee I'll be ditching when it's raining and I want that window wiper so if anybody has got an idea of why it has stopped, I'm wondering whether the motor's packed up. If not, I shall ring Volvo and ask them why it's done. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the laser out. I'm going to set it up in the middle here. I'm then going to go off uh, the concrete there and then come up six inches. I'm then going to come over here and see where that is on that container uh, and how high that container's got to be lifted well actually what I might do first is see if the containers are level because if they're level leave it where it is and just concrete up but yeah so I'll bring the laser in set it there take a level off the bottom of that container there see what it's like on these corners see if she's fairly level if she's level all is good if not we've got some lifting up to do Hopefully there's not a lot in them containers where they're too heavy. But let's get this old uh, laser level and get it sorted. Right, I will teach those who don't know how to use a laser level how to use a laser level. First of all, you want to set your tripod up. Make sure it's nice and sturdy and it's not going to move. Try and get it as level as you can to start off with as well. Try and get it roughly level. So the tripod is now set up. Go pick a laser up. Get your laser. Put your laser on top. Now what you want to do, you want to make sure, right, it's a really silly thing to say, but you want to make sure that um, your laser is somewhere where you can go to your datum point, get your datum, but you can also get to every corner you need to get to. So, and that is what we've done. Look, all right, roughly get a level. It should there. Press the on button. While that's, while that's leveling itself up, come over here, pick up the receiver, pick up your staff. Hopefully the laser will start spinning in a minute. She's still leveling up. Still leveling up. There she goes, she's spinning. Right, so as she's spinning, come over to the point that you want to come off, which is the concrete on this corner. Right. So we're gonna come off, come off the center of the concrete here. Turn this on and find the laser. need to come up two mil down make sure the staff is straight she's there she's bang on the money now this is the bit that gets a bit thingy right so that is level there let's see if this container is level how far out it is. The container is a good 150 mil lower than the concrete. Doesn't look it, but it is. So anyway, that's irrelevant now. So what I'll show you what I'm gonna do have a look at this container over here see how far out she is the ground is very deceiving here it's 
about the same. Uh, yeah, this corner on a point on here, and then I'll go check that container. What I done was I come off that lip there on the container, which I know them bars that run across the bottom, them H irons, are all the same, they're all 150 deep. So I come off that point there, went over to the same on that one. That one is about an inch lower than this one. Then you go to the back, and that's about two, two and a half inches lower. So that back end just won't picking up slightly. So does this one, this back end just won't picking up two and a half inches as well. So that will be the next plan, um, but we'll probably lift it more than that because he's saying he wants the containers a good six inches higher than the concrete. If that's the case, they've got to be lifted up a hell of a lot. And that's a hell of a lot of work to lift them to get a lot of stuff under. The only way you're going to do that is get some railway sleepers, lift one end, chuck a railway sleeper under, Lift this end, chuck railway sleeper under, that's your six inches. That's the only way you're going to do it. Because I can't lift it, move it and fill it. But we shall see, see what he says. We're going to have some dinner now and then uh, see what this afternoon brings. Don't forget, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Need 500 by Christmas. Right, that bank is all done and completed, ready for the stone to go in tomorrow. Just trying to find a water pipe which we found. And now he's gone to get his spade to do that, to dig it out and uh, connect it. Right, and that, that wraps today up really. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed. Uh, if you haven't, don't forget to hit that button. Uh, I'd be so much appreciated if you do hit that button. Like I say, I'd love to be 500 subscribers by Christmas. I know I keep saying it, but that is my goal. I've got like two days left to get like 40 some odd people or whatever. I, don't, I haven't checked it today, so I couldn't tell you. but. Yeah, please do hit that button. Um, yeah, as you can tell by the video, it has been a busy, busy day. So I've got a lot achieved today. So hopefully we're on the home, sort of home straight tomorrow slash Friday. Everything will be done, packed up, ready for Christmas. But right, I'm now going to head home because it is freezing cold out there. And as you can tell, we've been mucking around with water, so it is really cold. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get home, have my tea, get warmed up and spend some time with the family. So, right, I'd like to thank everybody and uh, stay safe and we'll see you soon. See you later. <laughs>